Hello, my name is Joshua Jones, and today I will be solving four math problems. It is four plus two parentheses, three squared minus two times four, close parentheses. All right, and so basically what you're going to be doing is you're just going to solve using the order of operations. Um, when using the order of operations, you have a rule called PEMDAS, or some people call it PEMDAS, where basically it's parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. So you're going to start and you're going to look and see if you have any exponents, well, parentheses. And you notice that you have parentheses, so you're going to start within the parentheses. All right, so within the parentheses, you see that you have an exponent, which is what you're going to do first. So you, you simplify 3 squared, which equals 9. And then you do a, a multiplication first, which is which comes first in the, one of the pendulum steps, and that gives you eight. So now your new problem within the parentheses is nine minus eight. So your new equation should look similar to this. So four plus two parentheses nine minus eight, and you do what you're supposed to do within your parentheses first, which will give you one. So 4 plus 2 times 1, which is 2 times 1 is 2, and 4 plus 2 equals 6. So 6 is your final answer. This problem will be determining which of the following statement is true. So the first statement is 5 is less than 7. Is 5 less than 7? Yes. <laughs> so obviously that statement will be true. So we can check that one out. All right, and the next one is, is five less than or equal to seven? Is five less than or equal to seven? So five is less than or equal to seven because five is less than seven. So that one is also true. And then the third problem, five is five equal to seven. Five is not equal to seven, so that statement is also true. And so the conclusion to this problem is that five is less than seven. 5 is less than or equal to 7, and 5 does not equal 7, and they're all true. So our next problem will be solving by factoring. Um, the problem is 3z squared equals 5z. Uh, what you're first going to do, you're going to look at your problem, and you're going to see that you're going to need to set it equal to 0. How do you do that? Basically, you're going to subtract 5 from this side to move... 5, you're going to subtract 5z from this side and move it to this side by subtracting 5z. Because what you do on one side, you have to do to the other. This minus 5z plus 5z will cancel each other out, and you will be left with 3z squared minus 5z equals 0. Because now the um, value of this is 0. So, you're looking at your problem and you're looking, what's the next step? The next step is to even simplifying it more by factoring um, out your greatest common factor of 3z squared minus 5z. Uh, you look at the numbers and you see that there is nothing in common. So now you move to the variables. You see that they both have z in common, so you're going to factor out z. So you're going to have z on the outside of the parentheses, 3z minus and the inside of the parentheses equals zero. Okay, from here you see that your problem is in simplest form and what you're going to do now is you're going to set your new, your two new equations equal to zero which will be z equals to zero and 3z minus five equals to zero. And from this step you're going to basically solve them like they're regular equations. For here, you see you don't have to do anything because you already have z on one side and you already have your zero. So this one is pretty self-explanatory, which says z equals zero. And for this one, you're going to solve it like you solve a regular equation. So you're going to start off by adding 5 to both sides in order to get z by itself. And that cancels out, plus 5. Now you have 3z equals 5. In order to get z by itself, you're going to divide by 3 on both sides. And this 3 cancel each other out. And now you have z equals 5 over 3. 
And so your two new answers are z equals zero and comma z equals five over three. All right. Our last problem we will be solving by factoring once again. Our problem is x squared plus 10x plus 25 equals zero. Your first step um, is, the first step you're going to do is simplify this equation into two separate poly polynomials. Um, you're going to look for two numbers that add together to give you 10, but multiply together to give you 25. Those two numbers will be 5, because 5 plus 5 is 10, and 5 times 5 is 25. So you're going to have x plus 5 as your first polynomial, and x plus 5 as your second. And you're both going to set these, you're going to set both equal to zero. Since these are the same, we only have to set it equal to zero once. So x plus 5 equals zero. That's what you're, you're setting it equal to zero to get, to figure out what x is. So now you're just going to solve it like you will solve any other simple uh, algebraic expression. So you're going to subtract 5 from both sides in order to get x by itself. And once x is on this, on side, you see that x equals negative 5. And that is your final answer for both of them. So your final answer is x equals negative 5. Hey, my name is Deja Hosley, and today I'm going to teach you how to solve for the unknown factor and solve for x. I'm going to be simplifying two polynomials. I'm going to do keep change, change. I'm going to drop the parentheses. Change this to a plus sign. This is going to be positive 2x, positive 7, negative 8 squared with a positive 3. Next, I'm going to add my like terms. And that's going to give me. Next, I'll be solving for the unknown. I'm going to be solving for x because I already know y is negative 6. So I want to plug my y in. That's going to give me negative 24 because negative 6 times 4 is 24. Now I have to get rid of my 24. I'm going to add 24 to both sides. My 24 is going to cancel out, leaving me with 3x equals 36. I'm trying to get x by itself. I'm going to divide both sides by 3. x is going to equal 12. For the next problem, I'm going to solve for x. The first step is distributing the 2 into the parentheses. That's going to give you 2x negative 6 equals 5x minus 8. And then I'm going to add 6 to both sides, making my 6s cancel out, giving me 2x equals 5x minus 2. I'm going to subtract 5x from both sides. My 5s are going to cancel out, giving me negative 3x equals negative 2. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. Two negatives makes this positive. My answer is 2 thirds. 